So I'm here with Coach Brandon Krause at Outlaws. That's a very heated video about Adrian Broner. I got to ask you this, Coach. Someone asked me this on Twitter to ask. Who, um, who had tougher opposition, Mike Tyson or Lennox Lewis? Oh, I think uh, uh, Lennox. Why? Well, Lennox had to fight some difficult guys coming up in his career. He had to get through some difficult situations. He had to fight guys that had knocked him out and beat them throughout his career. Mike Tyson had a spectacular boxing career, and, and everybody knows well who he is, and for good reason, because he was so special. But uh, uh, his managers uh, managed his career beautifully and put guys that were supposed to get beaten, and every time he had a, a difficult assignment and didn't look so good, they would take down the level of competition again to allow Mike Tyson to have these... Uh, highlight real knockouts and I think even Mike Tyson admits that and I think Mike Tyson even admits the only times he really ever stepped up to worthy competition uh, aside from you know the blown up uh, Mike Sphinx and, and uh, uh, mediocre Trevor Burbick he got beat he got beat by Lennox he got beat by Evander he got beat by all the guys that fought him back and Lennox had to fight guys that fought him back also coming up you know, Ray Mercer's uh, 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 what other difficult fights? Uh, Evander in his own right. Um, and he persevered in those fights, and I think that's what made him a better championship fighter than, than Iron Mike. Looking back at the history of boxing, who had a bigger impact on the sport? You would have to, this, Mike Tyson, right? Oh, yeah. That w the question of who had a better impact on boxing is without question. Mike Tyson. Maybe half of you watching at home don't even know who Lennox Lewis is. You should, you should research him. He's a pop culture him. icon, Mike Tyson. Yeah, my, I mean, Mike Tyson, exactly. I mean, I think it's put his image anywhere in the world and they'll know who it is. Or you put even this, the tattoo that he got late in his career put anywhere in the world. In yeah, yeah you, you, know, you know it's Mike Tyson. He became his own brand decades ago. But you said that his promoters and his handlers gave him those highlight reels. And that helped him become the legend that he is. It did, and it helped. He helped himself by being a maniac and uh, uh, being Mike Tyson. You know, the a guy who you honestly can't like, like many guys in boxing, a guy you couldn't think of. You know, because truth is always stranger than fiction. And Mike Tyson carried boxing on his back through the whole '80s and probably through the early half of the '90s too. There you have it, Brandon Krause with the explanation. Who had a better career, who had a bigger impact? VSWinterPoint.com and Melissa Black reporting.